Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the competitors in the men's 200 meter backstroke. For the team Eurostars, lane three, Arcardi Viachanen. Lane five, Luca Menzcarini. Representing Team USA in lane two, Ryan Lochte. Lane four, Tyler Clary. Lane six, Matt Griever. Ladies and gentlemen, the men's 200 meter backstroke. Great start from Grievers in six. Looks like he will take the early lead through 25 meters. 200 meters of backstroke to go here. Tyler Clary, your top seed in lane number four. From lane three, Via Channon, 25.65 going out. Via Channon, been a strong competitor in the backstroke events. Via Channon, bronze medalist at the 2008 Beijing Games in the 200 meter backstroke. And he flips here with almost a body length advantage over Ryan Lochte in lane two. Via Channon at 53.14. Lochte, 53.92, followed by Grievers in six at 54.82. U.S. Open record in the event of 148.90. And Via Channon from lane three, 121 41, having a great swim here. Out splitting him on the third 50 was Matt Grievers. Grievers 27 7, and now within striking distance. Grievers with the lead. And through the final 25 meters, it is Matt Grievers. 148.97, the unofficial winning time. And results now official, ladies and gentlemen, your champion with the third fastest time in the world for 2015 from lane six, Matt Grievers. Arkady Vyachan in second for the Eurostars from lane three and third in lane two, Ryan Lochte. Exiting the pool from lane six, ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Matt Creever.
traffic, they cannot catch me. I'm smashing, I'm ducking, and out of here. I'm looking fantastic. I am up in the classic. Now I know what it's like under the city lights, riding into the night, driving over the bridge. The same ones we walked across this kids. Do whatever, whip and never Matt, like congratulations. Points on the board needed for the U.S. and an explosive performance in those last 50 meters. Can you just take us through? So I swam this long course last week and I died pretty bad. A lot of people were catching me and I didn't like it and it hurt a lot. So I learned from those mistakes and saved a little bit. And right now I feel great. I'm not about to faint or anything, so it's good. Not fainting. <laughs> Yeah, it's always good when you uh, don't feel like you're gonna faint immediately afterwards. How does swimming this event, because we've seen you in the 200 a lot over the past year, set you up for your goals in the 100? Yeah, I think uh, endurance is always a good thing. Practicing closing a race like I just did is uh, great for the 100. Congratulations. Thank you. 200 backstroke champion, Matt Grievers.